What's up you guys? This is Eric from Just Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Google Music app in the Android market. So let's get right to it. We have the app open now and right away you can see the UI is much better looking than what used to come stock in Android phones back before 2.3 gingerbread. Um, right now I'm on my recent screen. You can swipe between screens to go from recent to artists, albums, songs, playlists, genres. Or you can just scroll on the top and quickly press the section you want to jump to right away. So I can go right to recent. And you scroll up and down to look at your recent as in small album cover on the left side. And then the song and the artist text right here on the right side. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, what makes Google, what makes this app great is the sh online streaming it offers. So let's go to settings and as you can see you can make music offline meaning that most of the music you have connected to your Google account is in the cloud. So you can stream it through any device that's connected to your Google account uh, via web, Android phone or Android tablets. Uh, there's no Google Music app for other platforms yet, but I'm sure it'll make its way there soon. Till then, it has a mobile view. So if you have an iPhone or something, you can just go to googlemusic.com and it'll bring up a mobile view and it works pretty good. Um, so yeah, you can make music available offline if you don't feel like streaming your music. Uh, basically what this does, it stores the music on your device that you want to listen to. Like if you're not connected to Wi-Fi or data connection, you could just put the music offline and you'll be good to go. Nah. Personally, I usually keep my music offline because for one, I don't always have a connection. And two, it's not that fast over 3G and it does take a battery so but if you are always near Wi-Fi or you have a 4G connection around you uh, it's pretty good to just stream it because you have plenty of space at least plenty of space for other things such as photos and movies on your phone because phones these days don't have that much memory uh, so yeah you can make music available offline or you can stream it uh, all you have to do to make make them offline is press go to settings, press if it make available offline, and you just simply pin whatever you want to keep on offline onto your device, and then you press the check mark, and it'll start downloading up there. I'm not really downloading anything right now because uh, I already have downloaded. Uh, let's go to settings. Settings, you can choose which Google account you want to connect to. You can hide av unavailable music, so if you have some music in the cloud, some, move, some music on your device, and uh, you don't have much of a connection, or you don't want to use up any battery to stream them, you can just press hide unavailable music, and it'll keep them out of sight, so out of mind. You can cache the music, so basically when you're streaming, you listen to a song when it's done, it caches the song onto the device so that way when you go back to that song uh, it doesn't take that long to buffer so that's good you can choose to stream via Wi-Fi only uh, probably something you want to do unless you have a pretty good 3G speeds or you're around 4G area you can choose to stream high quality but if you like I said if you don't have a fast enough connection it might take some time to buffer refresh you can choose to download via Wi-Fi only, so when you pin down music onto your device, you can choose whether or not you want it to download while you're on any other connection or just Wi-Fi. And then your download queue shows what you have downloaded right now, and then you have all the other stuff. Let's back out. I want to show you the, the buttons on the bottom. Right here is the setting buttons as I already showed you. You can choose to shuffle all, 
make available offline, show only offline music only, or go to settings. Here you can search for any songs. So let's search for Kane. And it brings up any songs, artists, or albums with the name Kane in them. Back out. And right here you have a dedicated icon that takes you directly to the music part of the Android market. So it's opening the Android market and now we're in the music section. This is where you can go to download and buy any music free Google account. Uh, most of the songs that you see on iTunes are on here and Google's working with more uh, studios to get more songs on here. But right now it's a pretty good selection. Y'all don't think you're going to be missing a lot. Go back to music. <coughs> and down here you have what's now playing. You can click that to go right away to the song. And here you have some options. Go right here, press settings. You can choose sound effects, which is basically an equalizer. So that's pretty cool. I believe that's an ice cream sandwich only feature. I'm not sure if the Android market version has it. Uh, what else is in the setting? Show options. It shows the, shows the option, shows these options, uh, but there's another way to do it, much faster way. Let's hide those. You can just click the album art, and then it brings up the options, which are to like or dislike a song. Uh, then you have a settings for the song to play, make an instant mix, add the playlist, or shop for the artist. Then it shows the artist information, uh, the album information, and you can go through the song. You can scribe through the song to any particular spot you want. Here you have where you can shuffle the music, the option to repeat a certain song or all songs. And then the usual rewind, play, fast forward, pause. <coughs> Alright, go back to settings. You can make an instant mix and you can jump right into the main settings here, which I already showed you. And let's take a look at landscape mode. There we go. Looks nice. Uh, the recent has like a 3D carousel effect, similar to what you see on iTunes and such. It's pretty cool. And then when you go to like artists or albums and stuff, it looks like this. It's pretty nice. Uh, a little better looking than when in portrait mode. And, uh, I don't believe I'm missing anything. Here your artist. And that's about it. That's Google Music. Available in the Android Marketplace. The service is free. The app is free. So, definitely, if you want more space on your phone, or you just want a good music app, Definitely suggest checking out Google Music. It's a really good app. I've enjoyed using it. Works well. Remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our channel. Every Tuesday we have iOS app reviews, and every Thursday we have Android app reviews. Now, this is Just Tech signing off. Till next time.